Now I'm going to talk about water changes, why we do them and the easiest way to do them. Now the main things you'll need for the water change are some water conditioner, doesn't have to be this one. You also need a siphon and a sponge. Now to make it easier for yourself, you are best getting yourself a barrel. Get yourself a pump with a hose because it'll just save you time, make your life easier. Now the reason we change the water is obviously the tank gets a bit dirty is one reason. Now you also have a lot of waste organics building up in the tank which is no good for your plants. So you need to dilute them to get them out for healthier plant growth. Now it's not just for plants because some people don't like having plants in the tank either. If you keep like an African cichlid tank you need to get your nitrates down because if your nitrates build up too high you can end up with ammonia in your tank. So, so what do we mean about your nitrates being too high? Well when you first start a tank as you'll see in the other video you have to do the nitrogen cycle so your ammonia is converted into nitrite and then into nitrate and the nitrifying bacteria in your tank stops you getting ammonia in your tank and nitrite which will in turn kill your fish but if you let your nitrates build up too much that can also kill your fish so you're best doing it once a week really now there's loads of different ways to do water changes and some have their own ways some will just go straight from the tap into the tank and then put their water conditioner in that way i don't like doing it just because i can i can't check the temperature as it's going in i don't know what change of temperature is in it and the times i have tried it in the past it didn't work so this works best for me if you haven't got a uh, barrel and water it's okay you can just fill buckets up it is easier to use a pump but i have used buckets many times and i still do sometimes when i can't be bothered getting the hose out but i'll show you now how i do it so the first thing i'll do is shut my filters off so i don't electrocute myself although i have done it on a couple of occasions once your barrel's full I like to leave it for about half an hour just to let the chlorine remover do its thing and make sure the water is the same temperature of the tank. You can use a thermometer but you get used to it in the end you can sort of touch feel it about the same temperature and once you start emptying the water out your tank as well you can use it for your plants, it's good for your plants, it's full of air, full of nitrates, it's good for plant growth. I put it on my grass sometimes and my grass grows better. So to siphon the water out you put this end in your tank once it's fully submerged, you suck through the other end and into the bucket. As you can see after water's drained the last thing i've got to do is take the sponges out which you'll get done every say every third time you do a water change but make sure you have to make sure it's very important you've got to make sure that you wash your sponges in your tank water your dirty tank water in one of your buckets do not use tap water because the last time i did that some kind of Chernobyl happened in my tank and everything was just wiped out, it's just no good. So, sponges in the bucket, squeeze them around, put them back in the filter and then you can fill it up. <laughs> is where you fill your barrel into your tank or if you're using buckets then pouring your buckets over the top I do recommend you buy a pump it is a lot easier 
but if you can't be bothered buying a pump then just get the bucket if you are pouring the bucket in make sure you do it slowly or your gravel is just going to go everywhere <laughs> to clean your glass I find it better to spray onto the cloth it just leaves less streaks and it's better all around and you don't want any of the chemicals getting sprayed into your tank either <laughs>